Hi, so today I'm going to take another look at Playtex Adventures Beyond Wonderland Live, the new uh, entertainment game show that was launched about one month ago. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because the game has changed. So this is an updated video. And just while I'm sort of starting, I'll just set the game up to um, auto play uh, 99 spins. Uh, so as I'm introducing this, uh, at least the game will go on in the background. Um, my aim is to show you all about the game and to show and demonstrate each of the bonus rounds that are available in the game. So you're not going to get to see the whole um, video session um, because it goes on quite honestly for about an hour and a half and you don't really want to sit through that. So I've cut it right down for just a, a bit of preamble about the game, just describing how you play it. And then I'll get straight into each of the bonus rounds and talk about those as we come across them. Now I'm playing uh, low stakes as you'll probably see on the screen. So I'm only betting 40 pence per spin on a deposit of 25 pounds. Now I should say I played for about an hour and a half and I came out about even at the end of that. Um, Right after I stopped recording, I started upping my bets and I just lost it all in about 10 spins. But the hour and a half, I probably played about 100, just over 100 spins um, in autoplay mode. So that gives you an idea of the type of turnover that you can get from this game just with general normal wins. So without further ado, let's just uh, crack into the game and I'll explain uh, a little about it. So as you would have observed, it is a game that is driven by a wheel of fortune type wheel, very much in the style of spin a win, or if you're familiar with the evolution games, Dreamcatcher, Crazy Time, Monopoly, those type of games. Um, and what you do is you bet on segments of the, of the wheel and those segments are either number or um, segments of bonus rounds. And if you bet on those and the, the flapper lands on those, then you either win uh, the amount of money that, uh, sorry, the multiplier for the number that you've, you've landed on or you enter one of the bonus rounds where you can win um, some big wins, quite honestly. Um, but I should say right at the beginning that those bin, big wins are few and far between. So don't expect thousand X's all the time. They might come once every six months. So you're going to get much lower wins. Um, the RTP for this game right across the whole thing is about 96.5%. So it's not a great return. It's like it plays like a, I guess, a bad slot, I would say. If you want a better rate of return, then go and play blackjack at 99.56%. Um, you'll get, you know, you'll, you'll turn your money out, and you're more likely to come away with a uh, positive bank balance. However, saying that, you are not going to win shitloads of money for a small stake. There is the possibility that that will happen on this game. So let's uh, explain a little about the wheel. So the wheel contains um, 54 segments. Um, number one is the most prolific segment on there that plays even money and there's 22 of those. Then you've got number two which plays uh, two to one and has 15 segments. Number five again has five segments, plays five to one. Number 10 has uh, four segments and plays obviously 10 to one and then you've got the bonus round segments. Now there's um, two, sorry there's four three uh, two wonder spins segments and that takes you into a bonus round where you get um, two free spins on a bonus wheel there are one five wonder spin segment so if you get that you get five uh, free spins on the uh, on the bonus then there's uh, a magic dice game where there's two segments and then there's a mystery spins where there's also two segments. Now you can bet on the magic dice and wonder spin segments. The mystery uh, segment doesn't require you to place a bet. That just, uh, when that drops in, then the mystery uh, bonus 
applies. And with the mystery bonus, there are two bonuses, um, and you don't know which one you're going to get. So when those trigger, um, again, I will explain um, a little bit about that. Now, outside of the game, there's also some random boosts on the wheel. And what that means is, you see Walter there, who is the uh, big, fat, blue uh, caterpillar dressed in his little orange waistcoat. He will sometimes eat a piece of bubble gum, blow a bubble, and that will then uh, create a multiplier which is applied to one of the number segments on the wheel. And that can happen at any time during the game round. So, uh, what else can I tell you about the game before we really uh, get into the bonus rounds? Now, what you're seeing is the wheel is actually two wheels. Uh, we're seeing one side, the front side, and on the back side is the wheel that's used for the Wonder Spins bonus rounds. And that rotates when the uh, bonus segments are triggered. And it's on a big turntable, I see, uh, I think. So what you'll see is the wheel uh, rotate. And at the same time, that wall that's uh, behind the wheel is actually a video wall. So it's not green screen. That is lots of... I'm not sure if it's lots of TV screens or just one huge bent TV screen, but either way, it is a, a physical screen uh, that is playing um, sort of different animated um, scenes during the game rounds. Top left, um, you see the crescent moon. If you keep your eye on that, you'll see that change into a Cheshire cat. So it's a nice little touch um, for the Alice in Wonderland uh, characters. Uh, we'll also get to meet the White Rabbit. Um, he appears when one of the bonus rounds is triggered. Right, okay, so that is enough about the main game. Um, on screen, you can see the stats, bottom left. And uh, right at the beginning of the, of the game, I exploded those so you could get an idea of how often the bonus rounds um, appear. It should be once every 10 spins, but Quite honestly, I've played this quite a lot and it doesn't quite happen like that. You could get a rash of spins which are constantly jumping into the bonus rounds. And then you can get other bonus, um, you can get other sets of spins and it could spin for 25 spins without getting a bonus round. So it plays typically like a normal Wheel of Fortune game. So if you compare that with Monopoly or Crazy Time, the Evolution game, you get exactly the same type of experience. Now the RTP across all of the segments are about the same. Um, they are about 96.82 is the highest for uh, segment one, ranging all the way down to, I'm just having a look at my little table here, uh, the Magic Dice game and number five at 96.58%. Now. When the game first came out, the RTPs had a much bigger range between all of the different segments, but they've made some adjustments, adjustments, and we're going to see those, and I'll explain how the games change when we get into those uh, bonus rounds. So, okay, so I think that's enough of me talking uh, introduction. Let's get into the first bonus round. Okay, so I lied. I'm not going to take you into the bonus round just yet. I, what I want to do is just talk very quickly about betting and betting strategies. Now, this game is all around about the bonus round, so you've almost got to uh, make sure that you're placing a bet on each of the three uh, bonus segments uh, on the wheel. And then it's up to you as to what you do after that. So you could just bet on those three and just suck up the fact that for every spin that drops on a number segment, you're gonna lose. Um, so to do that, you're gonna have to have a pretty big bankroll, and then you've got to hope that when you get into one of those three bonus rounds, you're gonna get a payout that's going to cover all of your losses up to that point. It's a high risk strategy and not the one I would recommend. I would recommend placing a bet on all the three bonus rounds, but I would also then either bet on number one and number two, because they cover most of the wheel with the bonus segments, or uh, not one and two, just number ten, uh, because that pays ten x. It's got you know four segments on the on the wheel, and um, you know when it drops in, you'll get paid ten x. You sometimes get the mystery bonus on that thing as well, mystery multiplier, which could boost that you know three or four times. So you could get a forty or fifty x payout on the on the number ten. So there's two schools of thoughts as to which way to go. Um, Whatever you do, the each spin, you are likely to lose money. So whatever better strategy you use, you are likely to use lose money, unless you get into one of those bonus rounds. 
So you've just got to work out how much bankroll you've got, how much you're prepared to bet on each stake, and um, therefore how long you want your bankroll to last. So as I said, I deposited 25 quid. I played a uh, 40, total 40, pence bet and my bankroll stayed intact for well over a hundred spins and it was only when I started doing huge bets that I started to um, lose uh, my bankroll. So you can turn your bankroll over quite a lot um, during those uh, spins and it's quite possible to make a profit. It just depends how much you want to do that. Um, the other way of uh, playing this game with a, a betting strategy is to keep an eye on the results that have occurred and I are you listening to and I tend to look at that and think about the probability so if a bonus round hasn't hit for 20 spins it's probably gonna hit pretty soon so just load up those bonus um, things forget about the numbers and play five or six spins at you know decent decent money to see what comes in because you might get lucky but this is gambling and it is about getting lucky so it's all about making judgment calls so that's my advice with uh, strat uh, strategies and betting um, now we'll go on and see the first bonus round cheers okay so this is going to be the first excuse me the first bonus round that we're going to experience and I wonder which one it's going to be one thing I found with this game is the presenters are absolutely excellent, I have to say. They really do interact well with the animated characters and they keep the, the pace and the uh, lightheartedness of the game going. They um, clearly explain what's going on, which I really like. And we're stopping on the five wonder spins. So what we're going to see here is the big wheel is now going to rotate and reveal the Wonder Spins bonus wheel, um, which is made up of two wheels. There's a small RNG wheel in the middle, which is used to add multipliers or additional free spins to the bonus round. And the bigger wheel on the outside contains segments of uh, Alice in Wonderland characters um, and they all have a multiplier assigned to them. And when the strop lands in one of those um, segments, the appropriate uh, multiplier is added to your win bank. And then at the end of the five spins, or however many spins there are, that multiplier is then applied to the stake that you had entering the game. So the first thing is, is the rabbit shows what character is going to get the additional multipliers so it's shown that the rabbit has um, was picked and then the RNG will selected five additional multipliers so the rabbit is now worth 55 there's only one rabbit six uh, segment on the wheel so unlikely to get it although saying that I have got it a couple of times so it does happen so look we've got the Mad Hatter's hat which has got a multiplier of two X so that gets stuck into the bank what you're looking for with this bonus round is lots of additional spins and some decent multipliers added to, I would say from the Cheshire Cat down, any of those um, which obviously come in more frequently. So for whatever reason, they, the RNG engine's picking the white rabbit as the uh, to receive the additional multipliers on this, which is not great. So that's now up to 57x. It's great if you get it. If you don't, then they're sort of wasted multipliers, really. You want them to be going in on the multipliers that come in, or the sectors that come in more frequently. Now, there are two additional things at either end of the range. There's the eat me uh, sector and the drink me sector. Now, when the game initially launched, they paid, or when they landed on, they would either take 30% of your bonus win and they'll take it away from you, or it would add 30% onto your bonus win. What happens now is if you land on one of those segments, it either adds a multiplier to all of the characters or takes one away from all of the characters, and then it gives you an additional respin, which is a much better um, situation because you get an extra spin to add more multipliers into your multiplier bank. So you can see here we've got the crown, which is 8x, and that goes into our multiplier bank now, which makes that 15x. We've got two spins left. 
characters as well as so ideally what we're looking for is um, an, an extra spin here on that middle wheel no we've got an eight times multiplier which is going to be on the mouse the d-bot and that's a door mouse i had to check <laughs> So uh, let's see what we get here. So we're at 15x at the moment, which is yeah, okay. Oh, and we've got the hat again, which is 2x. So that makes our multiply 17x. Maybe there's going to be some more. Because at the end of the day, Adventures Beyond Wonderland contain limited potential. So what character is going to get it this time? It's going to be the hat. So we could have done that earlier, really. And 10x has gone to the hat. So that's now worth 12x. So that's a really good um, sector to get. Let's hope we get that this time because that is, after the white rabbit, the best sector on the wheel. So we're not going to do it. We're going to get the dodo. So the dodo is 7x. So that makes our payout for this bonus round 24x so I've won two pound 40 uh, my I don't get my stake that uh, goes so I only get paid the multiplier now the wheel returns back and we're back to the main game and then uh, We'll spin away and see what bonus round we get next. Okay, so we're here for the next uh, bonus round. I wonder which one we're going to see here. So it's interesting uh, seeing Walter the, the Casper. He came, occasionally pops a, a bit of bubble gum in his mouth, so you think you're going to get a, a boost. Um, and interesting enough, the boosts are actually caps. So the highest boost that you're ever going to see on the wheel is 10x. Um. Wow, okay, I wasn't even looking there and we got the mystery uh, bonus round. So there's one of two mysteries we could get. Either uh, multipliers on the across the bedding grid or um, four card suits will march onto the screen and you have to pick one to reveal your multiplier. Right, so it's quite obvious which... Uh, which one it is, it's the uh, card one, so we've just got to pick a suit, and then uh, when time's up, it will reveal what multiplier we're going to get. Now the maximum multiplier that's gonna be available on any of these cards is 10X. There's actually three sets of uh, banks of multipliers, so you don't know which one's been applied to these four cards. And there you go, we got a 2X win there. 10X being the maximum. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Right, off to the next bonus round. So as you'll notice uh, as we go through this, there's a couple of things that you can uh, see with my play session. On the auto spins, you can see the number counting down. So you get sort of indication of how many um, spins are between each of the bonus rounds that I've I've recorded. Um, and also you can see that the presenters are only on screen for about 30 minutes. So again, that's another indicator of you know, how many uh, bonus rounds I'm getting within each uh, presenter. So this is the two wonder spins. So as with the five wonder spins, we use exactly the same bonus wheel, which will rotate into uh, interview. And if you watch the floor carefully, you can see how much of it moves and spins with the wheel. And obviously the video wall, uh, not spins, but the TV picture rotates at the same time as well, giving you the, the experience of everything moving, but everything doesn't move, it's only a small part of it. Anyway, so we're now on the two wonder spins. And uh, let's see what the white rabbit shows uh, us first. So it's the Dormouse, and the Dormouse is going to get a 5x. So I should have mentioned on the previous uh, Wonder Spins round that there are some other segments on the wheels which you don't want to see. And unfortunately, we're just seeing the first one, which is a no-win um, segment. 
That means we don't get a multiplier and it uses up one of our spins, so nightmare. Especially when you're on a 2 one to spin bonus round. So let's hope for something better on this spin. Okay, so we've got a 2 multiplier added to the rabbit again. What is it with this rabbit? I swear that the allocation of the multipliers to the um, to the characters has changed since they've made the adjustments to the game. Obviously, for the RTP sake, you know what? We've got two X on this bonus round, which is pretty shitty. But a really good example of what can happen. So not every bonus round is going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, you are going to get some low shitty ones, and that was a low shitty one. So uh, let's hope we can see something better in the next bonus round. So we've still got outstanding the magic dice, and let's hope we're going to see that one next. So as if by magic, hopefully we're going to get the magic dice round uh, next. So this is uh, one of those bonus rounds where you take an active role in it. Uh, you have to make some choices, or you have to make one choice. <clears throat> and that's uh, which dice you're going to follow, either red or white. And what happens with the magic dice round? I'm talking about it because I know that it's coming up next. Um, what happens with that dice round is that uh, you choose one of the dice and it's shaken. And then you proceed up a board that has got either multipliers or a double symbol which will double all wins if it falls on, if one of the dice falls on it. And you follow your coloured dice until you either get a multiplier win or you get right to the top where you get the max win. So as you can see, uh, we're going to choose the uh, red dice. So whenever the dice are rolled, and they use a special dice shaker, which you'll see in a minute, um, we then follow that dice. So along the bottom of the grid, you'll see numbers one to six. So whatever number we roll, that's where we start. We go to that column um, and then we start going up if there is a green arrow or if there is a multiplier showing, then uh, we take that as our win. So you can see that we've got number two. So we've got a green arrow, which allows us to go up to the next row. So ideally what we want is a one, two, three, or four with ours. So we can get further up the grid. And we've got number two, so we take one more step up. Uh, the white dice, dice, however, is on a different track to us. So we want now two, four, or five. And we've got a four, so we go up, and white is still going up as well. So they're going up two, which is pretty good. If the um, purple 2x had been landed on, that, that would change all the multipliers. That would double all the multipliers. So what we want ideally is a five. We've got a three, which gives us a 40x, and white has got four, which is 30x. So those are our payouts. So in terms of a bonus round, that's pretty good. Thank you very much. So hi the board you get the higher so we've got two um, features left to see that's the wheel boost and the um, mystery boost of the wheel um, with the wheel boost you'll see oh here we go the water is blowing a bubble and we've got a 2x which has been applied to the number 10 so the number 10 will get um, Two times 10, so that would be a 20x payout if it drops uh, in on the wheel and you bet on that number. The maximum multiplier that can happen during a wheel boost is 10x. And the wheel boost doesn't occur on any of the bonus rounds, just the wheel center. So there we are, we've got number two, so nobody won uh, the multiplier. Right, so final bonus round. And this is the caterpillar bonus round that will be generated from the mystery bonus sector. And what we'll see here is Walter blowing a big bubble, which will place some multipliers down onto the betting grid, including all of the bonus segments. And then you get respin. And then if you're if you bet on one of those segments and it drops in on the wheel 
then you win it with the multiplier. If you don't have a bet on it, then you're not going to win. So this is one of those bonus rounds that can giveth, but taketh away as well. It's not a, a shoo-in. All the other ones are shoo-ins. You're always going to get some sort of multiplier. But this one, you got a chance of losing. But with this one, the stakes are that much higher because this is where multipliers can then traverse into a bonus round. So you could get a mystery, one of these bonus multipliers onto the wheel and then another mystery which will then multiply the multipliers and then you get into a bonus round and suddenly you're looking at some big wins. So this is how the big wins will happen in this construct of the bonus round. So as you can see, I've only got active bets on one, two, and the three bonus round um, things. So I need one of those to come in for me to win. Um, if I don't, if five and ten comes in, then we are a loser. And there you go. Number five has come in. So everyone betting on five has got a 4x. So they've got a 20x payout. We get zip. Nada, zilch, nothing. Which uh, is not brilliant. So that might be one of the reasons why you want to be betting on each of the uh, numbers. For me, I don't do that. I tend to switch it up a bit. So my betting strategy is more either on the number 10 and the three bonus uh, segments or the number one, two and three segment uh, bonus segments. Both will give you a good turnover on your um, money. Um, that you're betting. Uh, look, we've got another wheel bonus here, 2x. So that was just a little uh, sweetener, I guess, for the people that didn't win on anything else. On the basis that most people will bet on the number one. So we've now got a 2x payout happening if it drops in. Oh, and we've got a mystery round. So what's the mystery round going to be? So we had a combination of a wheel boost and the mystery round. Now the mystery round is giving us multipliers on the wheel and a respin. Now in the help farm, there's nothing to say what the maximum multiplier is onto the grid here. I suspect it's probably 10x, but as you can see, we've got two, three, fours and fives displaying there. So let's hope we get uh, one of these. So that was quite good. We saw a boost. We didn't win on there. And then we got straight into another mystery round, which is quite um, rare. Mystery rounds, you know, every other spin for two spins because there's only two mystery round um, segments on the wheel. So that's quite a, uh, a rare occurrence. Okay, so let's see if we get a win here. Oh, it would have been good to stop on the wonder spins. But number one has come in, so we've got a 3x payout on our uh, bet there. Right, okay. Okay, so I'm in a pretty unique position um, because I've played the game before the changes were made and now after. So I've sort of got experience of the old game and experience of the new game. My experience in the old game was I quite like the volatility of the game and that seems to have been lost now. So I, I seem to get better wins in the older version um, than I do in this version. And I felt like the potential was there for really big wins. With this one, it all feels like it's been dumbed down a bit to give um, the opportunity for some better wins in the, the dice game, for example where uh, bets will be doubled regardless of which dice hits the, the two times uh, multiplier for, for doubling the multipliers on the, uh, the payout grid. Um, the, the other changes, you know, the eat me, drink me, you know, quite like that because it's a positive change. You know, that's a good thing. Although when I played it last time, um, when the multipliers were being applied to the characters, there were more multipliers and higher multipliers being applied to 
the lower multi the lower characters, it seems that they've gone the other way and they're now applying them to the bigger um, multipliers. It may be that I've only played it for an hour and a half, two hours, um, and haven't played that bonus round enough. But I felt like there was a lot more opportunity to win in the Wonder Spins rounds than there is now. I was getting some decent 65, 75x payouts in those, and the max maximum I've got during this sort of hours, hour and a half session was 27x and even on the two spins I got a 2x which was absolutely crap so it sort of disappoints at one end without giving the bigger payout at the other end so I, I'm sort of don't know what to think quite honestly you know I I'm going to have to keep my eye on the big win videos on YouTube to see who's getting the really big wins and seeing how often they, they come in. My feeling is, is it's not going to be as much as the, um, the version that we got before the changes were made. However, the changes were made on the back of player feedback. So player feedback is really uh, good, it's a good thing, and it's great when a supplier listens to it. But I think they really need to decide what type of game they want and what hit they want um, for the players, because you can't please everyone all of the time. You're gonna have a load of players that hate a game regardless of what you do it, and other players that really love it so if you want high volatility then you've got to expect loads of dead spins and then the occasional big win to get your bankroll back up um, yeah you know, I quite like those games you know I accept that I'm gonna get loads of dead spins with this I never got the feeling that I'm gonna get that big payout but it may be that I just haven't played it long enough um, the only other change that I would um, suggest the makers make is to the dice shaker I don't like it rotating around like that I like it jiggling up and down so if they were to use a like a sick bow shaker that would make me happier because at least I could see the dice dancing around but what I would say is the graphics the presentation um, the production is fantastic it is really really good so um, it doesn't matter whether you're a slot player or a live casino player I would encourage you to play this game and just see what you think uh, you might turn out to love it or you might hate it. Um, it's a bit like Momite, I suspect, as all the other Wheel of Fortune games are, um, and especially the ones with the bonus rounds. So um, this was my quick, I wanna say quick, it's about half an hour overview, but uh, I hope I've done that justice. I hope you've learned something and um, come back and see uh, my next video. Please don't affect, don't forget to uh, like the video uh, and subscribe to my channel so you can get notified of uh, videos as and when they come up. Cheers. Goodbye.